what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. ARs are pretty cool. Pistols are pretty cool. AR pistols are very cool. However, a couple years ago, I think is kind of like when the whole uh, trend of AR-15 pistols kind of really started catching on. And initially they were kind of like project or, or build guns. Uh, it's very cool to see manufacturers just offering an AR pistol out of the box. I made a video on the legality on this and I'm not a lawyer, so um, I'll probably make it really brief. A rifle is a gun in any way in the state of Texas, so I'll be careful. With a, uh, a barrel of 16 inches or longer, as soon as you go below that, it needs to be an SBR or a pistol. When it's a pistol, you can't have a vertical grip or a uh, stock, so they have braces, and braces have gotten pretty good. So the whole idea of AR pistols is like on fire right now, but AR-15 pistols have been on fire for, like I said, a couple years. It's funny, about two or three months ago, I was thinking why there aren't more AR-10 pistols out there. And then within that time, Springfield Armory offered this one, an out-of-the-box AR-10 pistol. I forgot the exact specs. I think the barrel was like a little over 10 inches, whether it was 10.2 or 10.3, something like that. Uh, so certainly under that 16-inch barrel uh, in a 308. So that's really, really cool. Um, of course, you could be silly with it, but just the proposition of having a really wieldable AR platform 308 power, really, really cool. Uh, because the forward weight is ergonomically kind of the worst weight uh, for a gun and a barrel is very heavy. So when you chop that down to 10.2 or 10.3, it's a sweet package. This is Springfield Armory's two-piece blast uh, diverter uh, or blast deflector. So when you're dealing with the 308 with that short of a barrel, um, it's going to be very concussive and very loud, especially if you're shooting next to people. So what they did, I haven't looked at how the internals are looking like, but it's probably like a muzzle brake type thing, but then a really strong wall around it, like a shield that deflects the blast forward. So how it's gonna mitigate recoil and all that, I don't know, but it should certainly take that blast that would be concussive around you and throw it forward. Uh, but yeah, it actually looks really, really cool in my opinion without pointing it at the camera. You guys can kind of see, it almost looks like a integral suppressed. However, it's anything but that. There goes my scope cap. They upgraded the pistol grip. It's not their own. It's a BCM gunfighter pistol grip, which I think that's kind of cool that they were to do that. You guys can see the trigger. It's a flat nickel something, uh, boron, whatever. I don't really know. It's a nickel trigger, flat, looks cool. That's all I know. Like I said, braces have gotten pretty darn good as of late. Uh, this one is an SB Tactical SBA3. I think it's a four or maybe five posi position adjustable brace. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty darn cool. The law on this a couple years ago was that you could not shoulder it. It was just a stabilizer or you could put it on your cheek. Now legally you can put it, if you so wish, stabilize it on your shoulder. It comes out of the box with a Magpul 20 round P mag. Uh, I'm going to try one of these. I don't even know who makes it, but these, uh, this metal mag that I've used on other guns in the past, I'm curious if it'll work. It better because I forgot the P-Mag at home. A couple more bits and bobs here. You have your little Picatinny slot on the top and a little bit on the handguard. Otherwise, it's pretty streamlined. More Picatinny rails here for a little backup iron sight. Cool thing is the idea of having such a short barrel and handguard like this, uh, you want to be careful not to overextend your hand to where you might have it somewhere it shouldn't be and, you know, have your hand shot off. So they went ahead, this is removable, they put this on the M-Lock slot. It's a little hand stop, so without even looking at it, you guys can just go ahead and put your hand up here. It's nice and comfortable. This is just out of curiosity for me. This is an Ataball X 1 to 10. Uh, variable, low power variable optic, but to 1 to 10 power. Now I made a video with the Vortex 1 to 10, and that was great, but of course that's a very pretty penny. This one here, I'll see what my impressions are, but uh, this one goes for significantly less. I think it's about under $700 or so uh, on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. This one does have a 35 millimeter tube, so you wanna know that when you get a mount for it. This has got the Bobro 35 millimeter QD mount. So overall, just developing my impressions on everything, and you guys are gonna come along for the ride on that. Hopefully you guys like this gun because you guys very well might win one. I feel like Oprah Winfrey all of a sudden. Uh, two videos back, we did the SCAR 17 giveaway, but that was just me announcing the giveaway that Classic Firearms was gonna do already. But Springfield Armory directly said that they wanna reserve one of these guns for one of you guys, specifically the Texas Plinking fan base. That is so cool. They pretty much said, Brandon, this one's yours, and I'm all happy with that. But you guys can very well get a St. Victor 308 as well. And they said, that is up to me on my terms to pick a winner. So we'll talk about that in a second, but I'm very happy one of you guys are gonna get one of these. Uh, but anywho, let's see how fun it is. I haven't shot it a whole lot just yet. Uh, the Ataball X1-10, first impressions. 
so far seems pretty cool, but these scope caps are a little eh, but we'll figure that out. All right, we're on one power. I got a new shoot steel target down there. I'm kind of excited to try out. Let's go ahead and knock it around some. I need to sight this in. That's pretty sweet. It is way off zero though, so I'm probably gonna take the liberty to uh, adjust that real quick and we'll get back to blasting around. All right, a couple rounds later off camera, I think we're zeroed in pretty darn close, at least on my small swinger down there. Uh, so yeah, forgot to mention as well on this thing, locking turret, so you pull them up to adjust both windage and elevation, pretty darn cool. I'll try to get you guys a scope cam later as B-roll. The reticle is really, really nice actually. It's illuminated, all kinds of stuff. All right, let's see here. just a really short barrel 308. I thought the thing would just be a mule. It's actually really, really docile. Um, just a really cool potency to it. But unless you're just mag dumping it like that, it's actually really easy to stay on target. Uh, man, yeah, this thing's pretty darn sweet. I think this is just gonna be a recurring segment on the channel at this point, just called Making It Rain. Come down to the creek here and uh, make it rain some. This one should be a good one for it. Let's give it a go. When I was shooting it at that angle with like a darker foreground or background, I could see just the fireball in this thing. I hope the camera's gonna pick that up. What a riot, holy crap, I like that. That's cool. You know, when I first heard about this gun, um, when Springfield Armory told me about it, I thought that's really cool because I like things that are different, but I thought it was gonna be just like a brash thing like that. But when I'm shooting it up there, it's actually really docile and practical. I could see it being like used for hunting applications. It's hilarious. I read the press release for this thing. They said it's a powerful self-defense system. I mean, yeah, if you line up 10 bad guys in a line, but I mean, like other than that, for just fun recreational shooting or the practical sense that you guys can find for it, it does it all. I'm actually really, really genuinely happy with this. And the fact that you guys can get one makes me even happier. Let's go back to the truck and talk about that for just a second. The fact that Springfield Armory wants to give one away to you guys, to one of my supporters, I think that's gonna go along those lines. Uh, for those of you that support me by watching the videos, by being subscribed, you guys are massive help and support of the channel. And so that's, this is kind of a big thanks to you guys on behalf of Springfield Armory and I, so that's really cool. Uh, so pretty much uh, for an entry to win, support me by uh, donating $1,000 to my Patreon. And that's guaranteed one entry. I'm just joking. So if you guys just subscribe, like I said, that's a big help. Uh, but for full transparency reasons, um, I'm trying to grow my Facebook page. The reason being is you get certain access and stuff like that by Facebook once you get 10,000 followers on Facebook. And I'm well shy of that. So what I'm thinking is if you guys follow my Facebook page, and I'll put a link in the description, the Texas Plinking Facebook page, that's your entry. Um, as well as, of course, I'm really grateful if you follow the other social media outlets, Texas Plinking on Instagram, YouTube, you guys are already watching here, but certainly Facebook, that's the main one I'm trying to grow here. I think what I'm going to do is just pick a random follower on the Facebook page and ensure that that follower is legally able to have this shipped to their FFL. Um, and that'll be that. So yeah, I think that's the easiest way to do it. Just follow the Facebook page. There's a difference between liking and following. I think I just want you to follow. So yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out as I go, but that, that'll be it. If you follow the Facebook page, that's your entry. I'm gonna pick a random um, person there. And right now, if you follow, your chances are pretty good. Um, and as far as when I will select the winner, um, I'm probably gonna be shooting three videos today. So by the time I come out here next time, which will probably be about next month, I'll pick the winner. So next time I come out here, um, I had picked the winner by then, and I'm gonna hook you guys up with Springfield Armory. They're gonna get your information and send you one of these guns. Sound good? There we go. 
If you hit that big one on the left with the 308 three times in a row, it will swing all the way around. That's pretty fun. If you hit them hard enough and fast enough, they could swing all the way around, as I did with uh, this one. But uh, yeah, that will stand, will stand some big rounds. 308's nothing for it, but thought I'd show you guys that. Anything on shootsteel.com, you guys can actually get with the code uh, TPLINK, capital T, PLINK10. Get 10% off. I think orders over, I think it was $200, are free shipping. And that's a heavy thing to ship, so that's kind of cool. All right, we're gonna give this a little break for a second, but sticking with the theme of Springfield Armory, this one, you guys have not seen it yet, and I have not shot it. I recently bought a 1911 TRP from Springfield Armory. They stopped making this one. This is that like really cool blue-gray kind of look. They still make the TRP, just not with this uh, Cerakote to it, uh, or armor coat as they call it, but it's really, really cool. Um, heavy bull barrel, uh, adjustable tritium three-way uh, or three-dot tritium sights, but adjustable windage and elevation, fully adjustable. Ultimately, it looks good, and you guys know I like that. Uh, but yeah, I got this thing for like a steal because these things go for 13, 14, 50 or so. Um, I guess the place I was buying it off like gun broker was trying to clear them out. So I paid 1000 for it. That's a steal. 45 ACP, just do a mag or two and then we'll go back to the subject matter of the video. But I thought I'd kind of show it off a little bit. Let's go ahead and load it up a little bit here. We've got the ETS speed loaders. Big thanks to them for sponsoring the video. Makes box ammo loading really easy. That should be five, six, seven, eight. Alrighty. Hopefully it's sighted in. If it's not, it's easy. A little click adjustment flathead there, but let's try it from here. All right, first shots. Ooh, that feels good. Let's try the big silhouettes, get my confidence real quick. That's really funny going from, although they're different kinds of guns, going from the 308 pistol to now a 45 ACP heavy 1911. This thing feels like a 22 long rifle. It is just so flat. It seems to be shooting a little high out of the box, but that's really cool because I could just adjust that real quick. Well guys, I think that's just about gonna do it for this video. Um, I expected to like this gun quite a bit just for its proposition of what it is, but uh, I like it way more than I thought, uh, just for the plinking aspect, having fun blasting around, but certainly the applications you guys can have for this, hog hunting or whatever. As far as my impressions with the Attaball, um, it's really, really nice actually. Again, I didn't really have too high of expectations if I'm honest, because the price point, uh, $700 or 670 I think it was, is a lot to pay for anything, but certainly for one to 10, I thought it would be a little bit worse. Uh, it's actually really, really good. If you guys are wanting me to draw comparisons between this and the Vortex, if I'm honest real quickly, the fit and finish and everything of the Vortex, I think is better, but at $2,000, it should be. Uh, if $2,000 is just out of the question, not in the, not uh, justifiable for you guys at all. Uh, 670 or so dollars for this one. Uh, well worth it. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, so that's always an option for you guys. Link in the description if you guys are interested in that. Honestly, I would just say invest in some better caps. The fact that it comes with caps is cool, but these are a little flimsy and they kind of fall off way too easily. So I'd rather just actually not have any caps in the meantime. That's the Attaball X 1 to 10. And uh, yeah, I'm really liking it on the Bobro QD mount in particular. It's really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, really sweet. As far as how you want to have an optic on your 308 pistol, the cool thing is the versatility. You guys can just have a holographic or a red dot or a one to 10, and uh, it's pretty well fit. So they're a pretty versatile platform and it's pretty fun. So again, the fact that you guys can get one makes me even happier about this whole thing. So again, if you follow me on Facebook, link in the description, uh, I will pick a winner in about one month and I'll contact you guys. And if you guys are cool with me publicly saying who won, then I'll go ahead and put you on blast. and. Uh, but either way, I'm gonna connect you with Springfield Armory and they're gonna send you out one of these in a month. So that's that guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. But yeah, that's the St. Victor 308 uh, pistol. Uh, pretty sweet. You guys are gonna see a lot of this in the very near future, but that does it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.